So we'll start with this side of the room. Cymbeline is enjoying the chair and table, this adorable pillow I found at Hobby Lobby a while ago. Yes, hello. <laughs> Um, I can't remember where I found these. They are actually like place card holders, but they're just so cute as a little village that I thought they'd be fun to have out. I can't, oh, symboling. <laughs> I need to find a better table, really, and a better tablecloth. A few years ago, I was at the fabric store and there were all these cute Christmas fabrics. And I was like, oh, I'll just get a little bit of each one. I'll find something to do with it. And now I have these just random pieces of beautiful fabric. This one I'm using as um, a tablecloth over here. Here's my Bon Maman advent calendar. I'm very excited to open up all my 24 delicious jams. I did buy um, a live poinsettia, but I do also have lots of sparkly poinsettias. Is it poinsettia or poinsettia? I'm not quite sure. And of course this beautiful quilt is uh, my cousin made for me. It has to stay there. It goes with everything, all four seasons. It does actually have, where's the Christmas? There's the Christmas book. So, so cute. Yeah, so I should probably fix um, that light strand to make it a little bit more straight across. But I put up command hooks around the room so that I have 360 degrees of pretty fairy lights, just lovely all the way across the top. And I have a Merry Christmas banner right there. Sorry, I feel like I'm not going in, in very good order. We started with the seating area. We went to the advent calendar. Cymbeline, would you like to show them the tree? Cymbeline. Cymbeline. Hello. <laughs> yeah, Cymbeline is never left in here unattended um, because she definitely Needs to be watched with all the decorations. Um, so I'm sure I'm going to have to stop filming many times to, to control the kitten. But anyway, while she's um, just having a nice little prowl, here is the Christmas tree that I picked out. It is so pretty. It's I think four feet. The huge ones are just so expensive. I could have bought four of these for the price of a full sized one. I did get um, a flocked tree, so it has this beautiful snowy effect and pine cones and berries. The um, red uh, garland is one that I added. And then I had this cute little Santa trail sign um, from previously. I have some more decorations I have not gotten out yet that I need to figure out little ornaments, smaller things where I want to put them. So I just have them under the tree for the moment or tucked behind the tree there as you see. But yes, it's a very pretty little tree just so lovely, I really like it came with this um, white ceramic pot. Yes, hello, are you enjoying your little cave? Cave exploration? <laughs> so what shall we show them next, Cymbeline? The curtains, if you remember from my other reading blogs, I have had blue curtains up here all year round. What, what are you jumping at? <laughs> I had some extra red fabric that I was going to use for a costume. It didn't end up being the right shade of red for the costume. So I decided to turn it into curtains and I think they came out quite well. Curtains are actually super easy to make if you have a sewing machine. It's just a couple straight seams. And then I had this um, extra garland that I put in the windows there. This wreath is so pretty. It kind of matches the, um, the flocked tree. Both of them I found at Lowe's. But yes, just lovely pine cones and snow. We'll follow that trail of lights in a minute, but first we'll take a look at the rest of the downstairs. I do have some little, um, little friends here on my bookshelves. I'm surprised Cymbeline has not hopped up to try to knock the mice off of their perches yet because she loves to do that. She like hops up on the bookshelf, knocks the mouse off, and then just chases it all over the place. Here's the last calendar girl of the year for December. I need to order some new ones actually. See what dresses we're going to have for 2022. And then I already showed you guys my beautiful Lord of the Rings prints in my last reading vlog. And then this is a fun, I think I found it at Target. Target and Hobby Lobby are my two favorite places for holiday decorations. And this is so fun. Look at how there's this tiny Santa and you can pull him out. And then there are pockets um, for each day. So he's a visiting a different house for the 24 days uh, leading up to Christmas. Very fun. This um, gunned Santa, isn't he cute? I think I found him at Barnes & Noble years ago. He's just adorable. And then mice. 
they are also, I think, are um, gunned just so cute. All of the bows were added. <laughs> you find the mouse? Oh! <laughs> he keeps getting stuck on your paw. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I think you're on the naughty list, Cymbeline. So yes, we also have a cute little um, bicycle holiday pillow and this pretty sparkly tree, which just reflects the light so nicely and is just so festive and pretty. So if we come around from the bookshelves, at the moment I have a American Girl display out here. Christmas is all about reliving your childhood, right? So I love to bring out some of my favorite childhood toys. And I have loved American Girl since I was very little. I came across a video clip where I was four years old and I was sitting out in the grass on a summer day and I had the American Girl doll catalog open. I didn't get a doll until I was probably six or seven. Felicity was my first American Girl doll and she was definitely my favorite. She's so beautiful. Here's her horse, Penny. The crown jewel of my American Girl collection is probably this carriage. It came out when Felicity, uh, Felicity's movie came out and it's just so spectacular. A beautiful yellow carriage. I feel like the Jane Austen heroines would have rode in a carriage like that. These trees are so, so pretty. They are from Hobby Lobby. And then we have a holiday tea party going on over here. It looks like Samantha's hat has slipped. I'm betting that was Cymbeline. Sorry, Samantha. <laughs> Above the dolls, we have some forest friends and Bangtan friends. It's funny how I think the bird was the thing that caught on and Target has done like Halloween birds and birds of every description, but I love the fox and the squirrel. These were like one of the first years that they came out with the birds. I have a little Emma Bridgewater tea towel back there in the kitchen. I don't have too many decorations um, in the kitchen, although I did put out some holiday things on my fridge. This is uh, from Winter Package. Uh, BTS's uh, winter kind of video DVD uh, set from last year. So I thought it'd be fun to get some some winter package things out. But I have a couple of my favorite old Christmas time cards. I think these are both Vienna. Um, I'm pretty sure. This, I feel like I've shown this before, but my brother Porthos made me a coat of arms. Honors, I think it's called. It has Teresa of Avila, Deus Solus Sufficit, The God Alone Suffices. It has a Jane Austen and P.G. Woodhouse work, my two favorite authors. So that's kind of fun. And then I do have a little, um, a little uh, fake <laughs> Christmas flower display. And again, some more winter package BTS photos back there behind um, the teapots and everything. I don't have too much in my plant corner either, but I do like how this um, green stocking, I feel like, matches. Um, the green of this part of the house and I have a cute little uh, wooden reindeer as well. Shall we show them where these lights lead, Cymbeline? I put these lights on the stairs, which I think really they're too long. They're the icicle lights um, and I couldn't figure out where else to put them, but they are pretty and they do brighten up this space quite a bit. In this corner at the top of the stairs, I have some of my pretty knitted trees that I made, I think two years ago. I got the pattern from Webs. I just bought the colors of yarn I wanted and the um, styrofoam, uh, styrofoam trees. And then you spit the sort of tree caps on top of them. And I think they look beautiful. These curtains I made myself. They are the rugs and the trees tone very nicely. We're gonna take a quick look around my room. Cymbeline is interested in the cute little snowman countdown. I can never get the nose to stay at one. It always falls back down to five, but I like his little insouciant look. And then I got just a couple things out in here. Some more of the knitted trees are so pretty. And I did get some new sheets, uh, Christmas sheets with red cardinals and a sort of birch wood. I need to change out the uh, cards to put some Christmas cards because uh, I feel like it's sort of more summery colors. And then over on my dresser, these are actually Girls of Many Lands dolls. Um, American Girl, again, came out with them uh, years ago. They're just so pretty. And then I have a couple more of the trees in front of the mirror so they're reflected. It looks like there are more of them. And then I went for colored lights upstairs around the window and the warm and cozy posters are actually an old anthropology bag, which was so pretty I cut it up and um, used it as decorations. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear about your Christmas decorating down in the comments below. I hope you're having a lovely start to the Christmas season and a very blessed advent. I'll talk to you again soon and until then I hope you have a magical day. Bye guys.